So now that we have our stock set up and we're getting a little bit into our level management here, I want to go ahead and bring in our fixturing or bring in our vise. So again, in the old way of doing this, uh, we would go into file again and go to merge, but there's a trick to get it in a little bit faster, kind of the drag and drop kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to open up the file that I originally started out with, and you'll see in here that we have a vice underscore XT. So I'm going to select that vice file. I'm going to hold down my control key and my left mouse button, and I'm just going to drag this over into my graphics window and release. You see that now I was able to drag in my vice, which we'll call my fixture, uh, that we're going to actually use and set up to represent how we would hold this part. First thing I want to do is get this vice aligned since I am in merge pattern. I have the option inside here to go ahead and use some of our alignment features. And in this case, the my vice is already you know, in my top orientation, so I don't have to do anything real drastic with it. But I'm going to go ahead and just use the dynamic function. And I'm just going to left click on dynamic over here in the left. And it's going to take me to my dynamic manager. It's telling me to pick a gnomon origin position. So I'm going to come over here to the right and I'm going to just let this snap to the center of that line. And I know it snaps whenever I get that little symbol that shows the center point of that line. So it knows that I'm at the center. And I want to go ahead and just left click. And I want to get this vise down below my part. Uh, for me, it just makes it easier than trying to, to we're just going to drag this vise over. But it makes it easier for me to go ahead and make a movement instead of trying to do it all in one shot. So I'm going to go ahead and left click on the up arrow on the Z and I get this little scale and I'm just going to drag this down below my part. Makes it a little easier for me. Now I want to get it where I got the edge of my stock at the edge of my vise so I'm going to left click on the Y and notice my part starts my vise starts moving again. I'm just going to come up and let it snap to the corner this lower corner once it snaps, I'm just going to left click again and now I've got it oriented to where I can just move it straight up in Z to the height that I want it to be. So I'll come click on Z and I'll move this up and I'm going to let it just snap to that corner. And now I've got my part sitting at the top of my vice jaw so I need to move my vice up just a little bit to get it to where I'm grabbing on some material. So I'm going to go ahead and left click on my Z again and I'm going to move up just a little bit because I, I was at uh, what was it five inches I believe 5 125. I'm going to go ahead and just move it up just to the bottom corner of my part. So I let that snap just to the bottom corner of that part. So that puts me right to the edge of that part. That looks good. And probably need to move it down just a little. So I'm still in my dynamic. I'm going to left click. I'm at I'm at 5.25 right now. I want to drop it down to 5.2. So I'm going to left click on my Z arrow. And I'm just going to type in 5.2 and enter. And enter again. And that sets my part just below the bottom of the part so I should be hanging on to about two hundred thousandths worth or so. The only thing left that I need to do now is I need to bring my back floating jaw and the jaw carrier up to the edge of the back of my stock here so I can stay in this dynamic motion by simply coming over here and hitting the blue check mark. And what that does is it sets everything that I've done and it allows me to make move something else if I need to. So it's saying select my entities that I want to move or copy. So I'm going to go ahead and select both the floating jaw and the carrier in selection. 
And again, I'm going to come over and let this just snap to the center of the top vice jaw. And I just need to move this vice jaw up to the edge of my stock. So I'll select my green arrow for Y. And I'm just going to come over here and let it snap to the edge of my stock. Now this is where having your stock set up and creating those lines and arcs when we created that solid will help you in setting up your fixture. So now I have my part, I'm holding on to it in my vise, my stock is set up, and I'm gonna go ahead and green check. And I will green check again, I'm finished with merging my pattern, so I will be done. And you'll see that now I have my part in my vise as it would be in the machine. I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Save it as my part file. Yes, I want to replace it. I like what I've gotten so far. And we're going to go back over and we're going to do a little bit of management again in my levels. Uh, if you notice in my levels manager, I have vice, vice one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, these are just all the pieces of this vice. So I want to get them all on one level. So again, I'm going to go ahead and say level three is my main. I'll go ahead and turn off level one and two. I'm going to window select, so I'll hold down my left mouse button, release it, and just drag the window over my full vise. Make sure everything's yellow. Again, I'll right click and go to change levels. I want to move all of this to my main level, so level 3, and I'll green check. Now you notice it's moved all entities to level 3, and I can right click now inside my level manager and say clear all it's going to clear anything that does not have a level or have an entity on that level i'm going to go ahead and turn level one and two back on and i'll leave level three on as well uh, just so that we have a representation of our vice and we'll be able to see as we start applying toolpath of what it's going to look like so again i'm going to go ahead and save my file i'm going to use control s which is save so Control-S will save your part file.